Today we will learn about weathering. Thanks to my teacher, Mrs. Drasner, who gave us the topic for this week. First, what is weathering? Weathering is the breaking down of rocks and minerals on Earth's surface. Did you know the Grand Canyon used to be one big piece of layered rock? Over millions of years, water from the Colorado River has been breaking off pieces from the rock and carrying them away. As this continues, the Grand Canyon gets deeper and wider. The process of wearing away or breaking down larger pieces of rock into smaller pieces is called weathering. I would like to point out one difference between erosion and weathering. Erosion carries away while weathering breaks down. For example, let's take a river. A river has small pieces of dirt and mud, which is carried away to somewhere else. That is called erosion. But how does weathering happen? There are three ways. Biological, physical, and chemical. Let's talk about biological weathering first. It is also known as organic weathering. There are three main agents in it. There, they are insects, plants, and animals. For example, take plants. The roots of plants make weathering. As you can see in the image here, the tree has grown through the rock and cracked it. Now let's take animals. Animals that tunnel underground, such as rabbits, moles, and prairie dogs. They cause weathering. They dig underground and then break the soil and rocks and cause weathering. Next is chemical weathering. Chemical weathering can break up rocks as well. Chemical reaction can happen when oxygen and water mix on minerals or metal. Let's take an example of this iron skittle. You see the rust here? This happened when water was left on this for a day, which created rust. Next is physical or mechanical weathering. It also breaks rocks into small pieces. Did you know a man is the most active agent of physical weathering? For example, agriculture, mining. Let's recap now. Weathering is the breaking down of rocks or minerals. There are three types of weathering, chemical, biological, and physical. Thanks for watching. Once again, I would like to thank my teacher for giving this topic for today. Always stay curious. If you have a question, comment down below and I'll try to make a video on it. Bye, see you in my next video.